What if I told you that there's a six foot eight point guard build that gets Hall of Fame quick first step, gets a 92 three point rating, which means it has gold limitless range, gets contact dunks, gets Hall of Fame defensive badges, and an 80 strength, gets nearly 80 total badges, and on top of all that, can be upgraded however you want to fit your play style. Today, we break NBA 2K23 again. Drop a like in the next five seconds or this will happen to you your next part game. I wouldn't risk it. Can someone explain what happened to me here? Bro ended my whole career out of nowhere. What's up, Simply Squad? It's your boy, Demi God Grinding. And you know I'm the glitch when it comes to these taller builds. A lot of y'all know me from my six foot nine rebirth build that, let's be honest, is absolutely dominating NBA 2K23 right now. So I wanted to come at y'all with another tall demigod build, but this one gets Hall of Fame quick first step in a 92 three-point rating, which of course means you unlock one of the most overpowered shooting badges in the game, Gold Limitless Rain. I'm telling y'all, just like my 6'9", this build is insane and has literally zero flaws in its game. But if you disagree and you find some flaws in this build that doesn't fit your playstyle, don't worry, I'm gonna show y'all exactly how you can change it to your liking. Now y'all, not only am I gonna give you the build, I'm gonna give you the best dribble moves, the best jump shot, the best badges for tall demigod builds like this. All I ask for you in return is for you to drop a like and drop a sub with notifications on. Now I'm not trying to waste y'all's time, so let's get into it. Alright y'all, now for the build. I'm gonna give you two variations of this build. One with a 92 three-pointer, so of course you get gold limitless range, and one with an 85 three-pointer, so you get silver limitless range, but with more defensive badges. First, we're gonna start with what I promised in the intro we're gonna start with the one that gives you a 92 three-point rating in gold limitless range so the position for this build is a point guard you can be right or left-handed it doesn't matter the height just like we say in the title is gonna be six foot eight the weight is gonna be 197 pounds and your wingspan is gonna be six foot eleven the reason for the weight is because we want an 80 acceleration and the reason for the wingspan is because we want a 92 three-point rating the body shape is whatever you want I like to go slight now for the attributes we're gonna start with what we're here for and we're gonna max out our three-point rating to a 92 and as you see you unlock gold limitless range and just by maxing your three-point it automatically brings up your mid-range and your free throw you get 23 shooting badges we're gonna leave that alone for now next we are going to max out our ball handling which is going to max out at an 89 then we're gonna max out our speed with ball which will be a 79 and to top off the playmaking we're gonna make this 71 so we end up with 20 playmaking badges and like i said in the intro because we have an 89 ball handling we get hall of fame quick first step now after that we're gonna go up to driving dunk and we're gonna make this an 86 driving dunk which of course means you unlock pro contact dunks you also unlock gold limitless takeoff and silver posterizer if you meet the badge count requirements which we will get into after that we're gonna go to the physicals we're gonna max out our acceleration we are going to max out our strength we are gonna put our vertical at 75 and our stamina at 90 and then we're gonna finish it off with our speed at 80 overall rating. Wait, Grondon, don't tell me you're gonna give me a six foot eight with no defense. I would never. I would never do you that dirty, bro. I just wanna do the other categories first so this is easier to explain. So for the defense, what I recommend you do is make all of these first four defensive ratings 80 overall rating. So your interior defense, your perimeter defense, your steal, and your block, put them all at 80. Once you have these all at 80, you're gonna go back up to finishing and make your standing dunk a 70 and this is what i'm gonna call your base build i call it a base build because you want to copy these attributes to a t before you start messing around and making what you want don't worry i'm gonna show y'all what i came up with and y'all could copy it verbatim if you want but i like giving y'all this base build so you can mess with it on your own and get the attributes that are most important to you as an individual because me and you might not be the exact same so for example let's say you don't play twos at all so you don't care about strength strength would only matter on your six foot eight if you're planning on playing twos with it like i would and need to be able to guard centers effectively right but let's say you're making this six foot eight to play threes only you could take down your strength and interior defense all the way then come up here to 
permanent defense and get an 87 permanent defense for Silver Clamps, Gold Challenger, and Hall of Fame Menace. Then you could be like, hey, I still have attributes left over. Might as well get more shooting batters. Come up here and get 26 shooting batters. That's the beauty of these base ratings. You can mess with it however you want. Now, let me show you what I came up with personally and what fits best for me. So what I did and what works best for me is I put my perimeter defense at 86 so I get Gold Challenger and Silver Clamps. Then I put my block at a 75 so I get Gold Chase Down Artist and Anchor on Bronze. And then finally, I redistributed the rest of the attributes so I would get the most badge points possible. So I made my Steel in 82, which of course unlocks Silver Interceptor. And my interior defense is 77, which leaves me with 17 total defensive badges, meaning that I can Core Challenger on Gold and then unlock Clamp Silver as well, which means I will have two Tier 3 defensive badges. So the finishing badge count is going to be 13 finishing, 23 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 17 defense and rebounding. But the great thing is you get four extra badges from your my career, and then you get a fifth extra badge if you hit level 38, which of course I'm going to do. But honestly, the only thing that matters is that you get four extra badges in my career, which you're going to put all into your finishing. And what that does is it allows you to core your limitless takeoff on gold and then unlock silver posterizer as well. So you will have two tier three finishing badges. So the real badge count on this build is going to look like 17 finishing, 23 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 17 defense and rebounding, which means 80 total badges. And of those total 80 badges, you're going to have two tier threes in finishing, limitless takeoff, and posterizer. You're going to have two tier threes in shooting gold limitless range in gold dead eye you're gonna have two tier threes in playmaking gold unpluckable is gonna be your core badge and then you're gonna have handles for day silver in defense you're gonna have gold challenger core then you're gonna have clamps on silver and then your physicals are just beautiful you have an 80 speed 80 acceleration 80 strength if you play twos you are not getting bullied whatsoever this build has more strength than my 6'9 and i never get bullied on the twos ever with my 6'9 you have a 75 vertical for all the contact dunks this build is just perfect now the takeovers on this build, of course you're gonna go limitless range first and the second is honestly preference. Me personally, I would either go extreme clamps or pull up precision. For right now, I'll just go pull up precision. And if you go with this variation of the build, it will be called a three point shot creator. Now let's say you don't like this build. You did the 80s on defense, you tried to make your own build with it and for some reason you just can't find a variation that you like. I'm gonna give y'all a second variation of this build that instead has an 85 three pointer but insanely high defense. Let's get into now for this variation of the build you are going to be six foot eight the weight is going to be 200 pounds and your wingspan is going to be an insane seven foot five and i'm going to go through this quickly we're going to start the same way you're going to upgrade your three point to max you're going to max out your ball handling as well you're going to max out your speed with ball and you're going to make your pass accuracy a 71 for 20 playmaking badges you're going to go to driving dunk you're going to make this an 86 rating you're going to make your mid range an 81 on this build your speed is going to be an 80 you're going to max out your acceleration max out your strength make your vertical a 75 for contact dunks and make your stamina a 90. now here comes the insane part of this build you go to perimeter defense and you are going to make it a whopping 92 which of course unlocks gold clamps gold challenger and hall of fame menace then you're gonna make your block in 88 so you get a hall of fame chase down artist in silver anchor and then to max out your defensive badge upgrades you are gonna make your interior defense in 81 and your steel in 83 leaving you with 20 total defensive badges and from then on i realized that i needed two more finishing badges to get 13 so i could get 17 badges once i got my extra four from my career so i went one down on my steel rating which didn't affect anything and i also went one or two down on my speed with ball rating and i put them all on close shot and standing dunk so i could get 13 finishing badges so for the second variation with silver limitless range these are the attributes i went with in my opinion both builds are absolutely perfect once again your finishing badge count once you get the four extra badges from micro will be 17 finishing 23 shooting 20 playmaking and 20 defensive badges you have silver limitless range silver posterizer hall of fame quick first step gold clamps gold challenger hall of fame chase on artists and silver anchor and the cool thing about variation number two is you get paint takeover as well if y'all don't know on the twos on my six nine i run paint takeover because it is 
super helpful when trying to stop big centers in the paint. So that is also an option with variation two. And if you pick variation two, the build name will come out as two way shot creator. I'm guessing because of your more defensive attributes. So now I'm gonna show you the badges you wanna equip, whether you picked variation one or variation two, it doesn't matter. These are the best badges in the game. Then I'm gonna show you all the best jump moves and the best jump shot for taller builds. So let's get into it. Now I'm gonna tell you all the best badges in the game that I learned after no life in this game for weeks. Trust me, these are the best proven tested by 2K Labs themselves. So first off, Green Machine, you want that on gold. Amped, must have you want that on gold. Agent 3, must have, you want that on silver. Then from then on, you want limitless range on silver. If you chose variation one, you want this on gold. You want limitless range as high as you can get it. And honestly, I'm gonna core this just so I have extra badge points. And then after that, blinders and deadeye don't actually activate as much as they should. I keep them on just because I don't really shoot catch and shoot jump shots. I don't know why I'm just a weird 2K player like that. I just hate shooting catch and shoot. But if you're smart, you'll put on catch and shoot on gold. If you're like me and for some reason you don't shoot catch and shoot jump shots, which I don't think anybody is, but just in case, then I put Deadeye on silver and then I put clutch shooter on Hall of Fame. Guard up does not activate unless they do not put their hand up and they're standing right next to you. It's a weird situation. It doesn't happen that many times. I honestly would not bother running guard up. For your playmaking, you're gonna run Hall of Fame quick first step is the reason you made this build in the first place. You better use it. You're gonna run bailout on bronze. Bronze is all I use it on no matter what. You're gonna run vice grip on silver then you're gonna have unpluckable on gold cord and you're gonna have handles for days on silver equipped for defense in rebounding you're gonna have interceptor on silver chase down artist on hall of fame clamps on gold cord and if you're playing twos you're gonna have anchor on silver if not you're gonna have challenger on gold finally you're gonna have menace on gold as well and for finishing let's assume you have 17 badges after the my career quest honestly none of these first badges even matter for the type of player that I am, I'm guessing, but I would put Fearless Finisher on bronze. I love using Drop Stepper on smaller opponents, so I put Drop Stepper on bronze. You're honestly just trying to find a way to get 10 badge points in tiers one and tier two, so you get to the badges that you really want. So I'm gonna go Rise Up on bronze, Giant Slayer on gold, because you're 6'8", a lot of people run 6'9", so it'll activate a lot more. And then I guess Back Down Punisher on silver, just cause. Again, you're trying to get to tier three, and then you would assume that you'd have seven badges left available. So you are gonna core limitless takeoff and then put on posterizer on silver. Now for the drip moves, these are by far the best drip moves in the game for taller players like this build. If y'all wanna know how to use these drip moves the most effective way possible, my drip moves video will be linked in the description below. Please make sure to go check that out. It will help you a ton. It'll also show you how to do the moving spin that I do in a lot of my clips. And for the jump shot, there are two jump shots that I alternate between. Right now, my favorite jump shot is right here. Base Cal Kuzma, release one, Luka Doncic release to Rudy 100% release speed and the blending is 31% Luka 69% Rudy. The second jump shot I use is base Tobias Harris release one Penny Hardaway release to Rudy 100% release speed 65% Penny Hardaway 35% Rudy. I would try both of these jump shots on early first and then if you don't like them try them on very early. I use them on both. It's honestly gotten to the point where I switch my jump shot every day between these two and between those two releases just depends how how I'm feeling that day. If you want more jump shots for this height range as well as other height ranges like other under 6'4 and above 6'10, make sure to check out my jump shot video. It will be linked down below as well. But yeah, y'all, that is pretty much it. That is my six foot eight demigod build. Two variations, one with gold limitless range and one with silver, but more defense. Y'all let me know which variation are y'all rocking with? Variation one or variation two? Are you gonna stick with the six nines? Is this not worth making? Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. I I have a six foot one build dropping tomorrow that is a strictly threes and pro am build. It will also have two variations, one with defense and one without. So if y'all are interested in that, make sure to drop a sub with notifications on, man. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, keep grinding. Falling, falling. Who can we never be falling? Rachel, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Falling, falling. Who can we never be falling? Rachel, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be.